Hello friends, how are you all? Today we are going to do something exciting with the help of Node. This workflow is going to be very simple. We will make some excited images with the help of this Node, help you generate backgrounds. Will help you to generate this image, so let me tell you one more thing. I have started my website from confueblog.com, so here you will get articles and everything. Today we are going to talk about patch model at downscale. So what does this node do? Imagine that there is a big sandwich and there are different layers of that sandwich and different pictures will be created in each layer. For example, block 1 will create a different image, block 2 will create a different image, and block 3 will create a different image. So if we use block 1, then you see that whenever an image is created, it remains noisy. So it will be more clear in block 2, it will be more clear in block 4, it is more clear in block 5. So with the help of this node, if we generate any image, sometimes we don't get the desired result. Suppose I have generated this image now. So there are three women in this, but you must be seeing the details in it without upscaling. So I haven't used any upscaling in it yet. And how well it has generated this image. We will learn step by step how to make this workflow. The node I am going to use is Colors MZ. First of all, what you have to do is open Config UI. Go to Custom Node. The first thing you have to do is search Colors MZ. First of all, we have to install the Colors MZ node. Only one node is enough for this workflow. So after installing this, we first. You can download the required files from this article. This is the file of the unit loader and the file of the text encoder. So let's start creating our workflow. Let's add it and in that we select the diffusion pythos model of the colors. You can download the file from here. So the next node is our MZ. We will chat GLM3 test encoder. We will open one more node for open to load B, in which we will use SDXL.B. Open GLM3 loader node and in this. So now we will use the next node, which is going to be our main node patch download model node. Add sampler, VD code, preview image. Now we have to connect it. We connect it from the model. We connect it. Connect positive and this negative to K sampler. Open this is empty latent in which we select 2048. If you are using this model, I will tell you its best settings. Our steps 30, CGF 6.5, sampler DPMPP2M underscore SDE underscore GPU.
Finally, our workflow is ready. So I have put a command prompt. So now let's run this workflow. Now the block number is 3. Math 2 shapes notes are also multiplied, so I think we will have to use another clip test encoder here, the MindChat GLM3 encoder 2. So here you can see the generated image. You can see how well it has generated this image for desktop. Now we will try the prompt in which I have added three female portraits. Patch model add downscale node. Let's say I select block one. And let's see and we have prompted it to be a female portrait, so what output will we get? So what we put in the prompt, we still don't have the result output and you can see the details so how realistic it is, there is still a little lack in it. So now we will see on 3 block what will be the output. Look so you can see here that he has given such a good output 3 women portrait. If we do block 4, will we get more details in this image? If we click on block 4, it will change the image completely. Now we click on block 5. Block 3 is the output that we need. So it has generated us like that. Even on block 5, it has generated us a good image. Now block 6. So this way, if you are making any AI generated image or background, then this node is very useful. So you can check this on every different node that. What is the result? So if you look at block 6, it has added more details to the image. We will try a background. So first of all, let's check on block 1. So now we have done block 1. Now we are doing a background check. In this, the output that it has given us of the background, there is still a little lack in it. But the image is not so noisy. So now we try the second. Block 2. What output will we get on block 2? This is a little better than block 1, so here you are looking at the giant monster giant. How much details it has added and the background now we will check this image on block 3 what output we will get on block 3.
Here it has removed the face of the monster so now the good result it has given is blocked so now let's try block 4. So we got a better result on block 4. So if you look at this monster in it, more details have been added and this wallpaper image is very good. Looking very good. Now we check on the block type that what else can be added to this image. So the monster has been changed a little bit more. The position of the girls has been changed a little bit. Block 6. So what I added in the prompt was warrior girl in a armor jump from cliff. So when block 6 came, if we have seen 1 to 5 blocks so far, he had not jumped yet. So on the 6th block, the woman. Warrior woman is jumping, so you can see here that as we are adding blocks and increasing them, then these details are being added to our image. So if we check on block 7. So he has changed it completely. So block it. So whatever I said in the prompt, I got it on block 7 and 6. This is very different so with the help of this note you can make anything creative. So how useful is this note? Here he has added a monster that looks even better. And here he has added two women. Done. And we will see the last on block 10. Then we will finish this video. Thank you. So block 11 is also exactly the same so today we finish here if you like this video. This video subscribe to our channel and for more such videos. We will try to live as soon as there are 1000 subscribers. Then we will do a live session every Sunday in which we will talk about any problem related to ComfyUI or AI and our blog. Now it is under construction and I am working on it. So here I will make a separate category in which you can. You can tell the problem you are facing related to Confi UI and I will be able to solve all your problems by giving the answer.
then subscribe to our channel and thank you we will meet in the next video.